Yo, 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 what is up guys, Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome on in. So today I went to Harbor Freight, and it, every time I go to Harbor Freight, I always end up buying all this other stuff that I did not plan on buying when I planned on going to Harbor Freight. But, so I ordered a welder, and I bought some stuff on Amazon, waiting for that to come in the mail, and I was like, you know what, uh, I need a welding helmet. I've heard good things about the Harbor Freight Vulcan. Arc safe welding helmet. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and I'm gonna buy a welding helmet and the welding cart. And then I ended up just going on a shopping spree and spent like 700 bucks or something on a bunch of wrenches and other stuff for work. So I figured I'd do a Harbor Freight tool haul. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. So went ahead and assembled the welding cart. Took maybe about 15 minutes. Wasn't too bad. All came separately. Had to put it together like a little piece of Ikea furniture. But not bad. Seems like it'll do the trick. I got like a little baby welder, so I'm like a beginner. So I feel like this will do good. They did have the bigger one, the Vulcan with like a 300 pound capacity. But uh, that one was like 150 bucks or 200 bucks. This one was 50 bucks. And this one's nice and small and has a ton of good reviews. And from what I heard, it works fine for a little at home shop like we have here. So there's the welding cart. Once the welder gets here, go ahead and put it on there, see how it goes. This is the Vulcan ArcSafe welding helmet. Still some plastic film I gotta take off, but I tried it on and it was pretty comfy. Never really worn a welding helmet, but this one seemed like it wasn't too bad. Got the controls right there. Came with the instruction manual, some replacement shields or screens, and batteries. So really excited to get my welding venture started and uh, do some welding on the 240 eventually. Probably mount, do some fab work to mount the intercooler, but back to the tools. We got some brushes. Think I might need these. Uh, we got some wrench organizer sets. These are, so they seem pretty cool. I bought like a big pack of uh, hydraulic line wrenches and it came in like a big canvas kind of bag and it really just takes up a ton of space. So I plan on putting those in here to kind of save space. So we'll see how these go. Uh, I got some jumbo wrenches, Icon of course, uh, in standard size. Now working on a lot more hydraulics and bigger trucks in the diesel field. Um, using a lot more standard. So kind of had no standard. So that's pretty much what we bought today. But these jumbo wrenches seem pretty beefy. Haven't had a problem with Icon wrenches yet. So figured these weren't a bad, bad buy because these big wrenches get really expensive, especially going on like the Snap-on truck, truck. You're talking a lot of money. But a set of uh, half inch in extensions. For the longest time I've been needing half inch in extensions. I only had like this little three incher, four incher half inch. And I would always have to like borrow like a longer one every time I needed them. So I was like, dude, I need to just buy one. Especially torquing the dually FI-50 wheels. Need the deeper extension. So finally got me one of those. Got a set of crow's foot in standard, of course. These are also Icon. Probably be using these on like hydraulic line fittings when I can't get a wrench in there to kind of sneak something like this in. So we'll see if I end up needing those. Bought a standard set of wrenches, combination wrenches, quarter inch to one inch, since I have no standard stuff. This is a nice set because it's the no size skipping set. So it has all the sizes up to one inch. So I was gonna get the gear wrench version because I've had the metric gear wrench version 
for quite some time now and they were bitching, but they were a little bit more money and I figure I'll just start off with the non-gear wrench style. And we'll see later on if it's something I end up do using a ton at work, then I will upgrade and get the gear wrench version. And besides that, I bought this uh, standard service wrench set. I know it looks kind of cheapy, but uh, some of you guys on Instagram, that you guys follow me, have been giving me advice that this is a really nice set. It comes in handy because you could just beat the hell out of these with a hammer and they don't break or bend and they're a little bit small so sometimes they help to get into those tight spaces so thank you guys who recommended those to me we'll see if i end up using them but yeah that's pretty much it i mean all this today spent i think it was like 760 bucks for what you get here which isn't too bad i mean i was planning on just buying a helmet and the cart should have been like maybe 250 bucks but end up spending a little bit more just because there's a lot of stuff i need for work oh as well as the socket adapter sets um a lot of these bigger sockets we have at the shop they are three quarter inch or even one inch on some of them so i really just needed these two the half inch to three quarter inch adapter and the three quarter inch to one inch adapter but they have the whole set and i was like all right i'll just go out and get that but yeah a lot of bigger stuff before working at toyota or even just automotive dealerships in general you don't really need many big wrenches big sockets stuff like that um i never even needed crow's foot at the dealership but now um pretty much need standard so kind of sucks having to double up on basically everything i already have just to get it in standard but it is what it is and you gotta do what you gotta do and it's fun buying tools you gotta admit so yeah guys that kind of sums up this short little episode just uh want to show you what i got new adding to the tool arsenal for work so hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for the next episode hopefully i'll have this welder in so i can kind of show you the welder do a little unboxing video stuff like that and maybe get some scrap metal from work so i can start practicing welding at here at the garage so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys later peace